Now, Korea is a country well known around the world as a place where the past and the present coexist. The gate guarding ceremony, which has been a tradition that dates back centuries to the Joseon dynasty, in fact, was held at Sungnemun Sung Gate on Thursday for the first time in eight years. And it is a welcome return for the nation's most important national treasure, which was severely damaged by arson back in 2008. Oh Jung-hee reports. Soldiers dressed in Joseon Dynasty uniforms march in unison to Sungnemun Gate carrying a number of large flags. The gate is the main entrance to the fortress surrounding Joseon's historical capital Hanyang, a predecessor of Seoul. The soldiers are participating in a traditional changing of the guard ceremony, one of the Joseon Dynasty's most important military rituals. The soldiers check each other's identities and exchange the palace keys. Four guards armed with rifles remain behind to stay on watch. The guards have returned to the Sungyeomun Gate for the first time since the historic structure was destroyed eight years ago to perform the traditional gate guarding ceremony. Tourists express that the traditional ceremony helps them grasp the atmosphere of Korea's history and past. As a foreigner, it's really good experience because Seoul is just a big city and a modern city. And just suddenly to find this in the middle of, of, of Seoul is amazing to remind us like uh, old times of Seoul and it's just really great. Or make me think of how this could be like 600 years ago. Combat practices of the Joseon dynasty are also reenacted at the nearby Seoul Square, entertaining both residents and foreign visitors alike. The king makes his royal progress to the square accompanied by over 100 soldiers and personnel. He sees the soldiers split into two groups and fight, evaluating their combat capabilities. Soldiers show off their speed and accuracy, swinging their swords at their rivals while defending themselves. A magnificent view of the Joseon dynasty's military events decorated the heart of contemporary Seoul, giving spectators a glimpse of the past and the present day. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.